Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shadud. Let's make an e-commerce shopping cart in Vue.js3 using Vuex and Web Storage to save the item in the browser for the next session after the user closes the website. Let's get started. Here are the view router routes that we will use. And I will leave uh, uh, tutorials in the description for more information about uh, view routers and layouts, plus uh, how to install Bootstrap 5 in Vue.js. Here is the home page that displays the product. We have an array of product objects with ID, name, image, URL, and the price to display. We need to install Vuex as a state management library for Vue.js. As you can see here, npm install Vuex at next dash dash save. And we will create a store for saving the cart item. I have created a new folder called store and uh, index.js file to boot the store code. And as you can see here, I imported create a store from Vuex. And we have a state mutation action. Okay, let's add the store to our app. As you can see here, we imported uh, the index.js file. And we'll add it to the view app. Okay, let's create our Vuex store. Instead, the first thing we will create uh, the cart array for saving the cart's item and cart total for keeping the cart total. Okay, in mutation, we will create uh, two functions, okay? The first one will be add remove cart for adding or remove items from the cart and calculating the total. And second one will be uh, update cart for updating the item quantity and calculating the total after updating. So let's create our first function here. It takes the state and payload. Okay, the first thing in payload is to add, and this is boolean. So here, if it's to add, okay, we will add the product to the cart array. And if, uh, if it's false, not to add, uh, we will remove it from the cart array. Okay, now we will make any number to float with bars float, as you can see. Here this is the accumulator. 
plus the product price multiply um, the quantity. Now let's save the card total and the card in uh, in our web storage here. We use the object uh, local storage for saving the data. Then we can console.log uh, the card item and card rest for testing. Okay, now uh, we need uh, to create the update card. Just to update an item. Uh, of course, we are going to update the quantity and calculate the card total once again. So let's uh, do this. And it will take uh, as a parameter the state uh, and the payload. Now we'll find uh, the item by the product ID in the cart array. And then we will update the, the quantity. Okay, after updating the, the quantity, we will copy uh, the calculating part and the saving part in, uh, in web storage from the previous ray, uh, function, as you can see here. Add to cart button. We'll make a cart button component for adding and removing items. In addition to increasing and decreasing the quantity, we need to install a view 3 testify package. Okay, and I will leave a link in the description for a video that explains it all. Okay, but for now, for saving some time, let's uh, focus on the component. Here, we use Bootstrap Group and Boot for creating add and minus buttons. And on click, we run add or remove function with one for increasing quantity by one and minus one for decreasing quantity by one. And we have limits that are maximum 10 and minimum one. And we show a toast warning notification for that. So let's good. Let's create a flag for, for loading. Like loading equal false by default. Let's create our add or remove function. It will take a um, number as a parameter, one for increasing and minus for decreasing, minus one for decreasing. But first, let's fire up our loading flag. Then we will check this number if equal one. Okay, now we checked if the number equal one. We need to check if 
uh, we didn't pass the, the maximum, so this quantity should be less than 10. So let's increase the quantity. So this product quantity will be uh, equal to this quantity. Okay, let's update the cart item quantity in the store and local storage. Okay, await this store commit and the, the function update cart and the argument as you can see here we have pay product equal this product And finally, we will show a toast notification notification message. Um, the cart updated has been on, on the cart updated. Toast dot success cart updated. Okay. Here we can, uh, yani, you can add the time uh, for closing uh, toast notification. But I remove it. I will use the default timing. But this shows a warning toast that the user has reached the maximum uh, uh, quantity. Okay, here is for add one more quantity uh, or increasing the quantity. Let's make let's decrease the quantity here. If the number uh, was or or is minus one. Okay, here for checking if we reach the quant the maximum or the minimum here, actually. Okay. Actually, it's the same code as increasing, but instead of uh, the quantity, we increase the quantity, we'll minus the quantity by one, but all the same, nothing new. Okay, the last thing will make the, this loading equal true. And the end mounted. Here is this quantity equal this product quantity, okay? From the props. Here we will show this button if we have got a product. Okay. We will need to disable these buttons uh, if the loading is true. Okay. And we will add the add remove function with minus for the, the mi minus one for the minus button and plus for the plus button, plus one. Now let's uh, code the cart button component. That will show everything. This is the, the component we will call in the product cart. As you can see here, this is a bootstrap button. Here with a flag uh, to add or remove and item array. We'll create add or remove. 
function here. But here we have no quantity, we just add one item. We will use the, the, the other uh, component for cart add or remove. Uh, this component just for adding, for increasing or decreasing the items. But here we just add one, one quantity. And it will show the, the plus and minus button. Okay, let's call the function from the store add remove cart with the payload product and to add. Here the product would be this item. And to add will be this dot to add. Of course, all the data will be um, assigned in the mounted function. Okay, let's make a toast message. Of course, we will have a condition for uh, the message if it's for add or remove. As you can see here, this is the code. For add uh, an item to the cart, the message will be add to cart, added to cart, or removed from cart. And here is the toast, here is message, and auto close after one second. And here, let's just change uh, this the, to add to toggle. So next time when we uh, press button, undo the action we have done. For example, if we add an action, the, if we click the button again, uh, we'll remove the item from the cart. So here in mounted, Will the get uh, will get the cart array from the store? Okay, let's find the item if it's existed in the cart array or not. Here we check the ID product ID from the props okay let's let's check if the item found or not so here if the item found this dot to add will equal false that's mean if the user clicks the card button uh, we will remove it from the cart okay and this item will equal object the, the object from the cart if it's not found so we this item this dot item will equal this dot product from the props. This is to add I think here it's a mistake. I would change it. It should be this dot to add equal true. Okay, here. Okay, looks fine. I have added add or remove uh, to the cart button when we click it. Uh, here the add and remove, and remove uh, component will be displayed if it's not to add. Okay, let's use the cart button here in the home page. 
This is a product card. Okay, we are loading the products. And this is a button. As you can see, the using. And we imported the button. Okay, let's run the server and test it. Okay, now it's working. And we, I just refreshed the page. See if the local storage uh, working. Okay, let's display uh, the cart item count here in the app header. Here, uh, add this, uh, this element here. We we'll remove the zero, and we will get the cart array links from the store. So store dot state dot cart dot links. Now we got the count. We are going to display the badge above the cart icon when there is a length, when the length is um, bigger than zero or greater than zero. Okay. Now, let's add an item here, second one, yeah. Yeah, here is the count, the card page, here. It's the last step in this tutorial. I know e-commerce websites are complicated, but it is worth learning. Here, this is a card item account. We'll display it in the, in, the, in the top above the item. And here is a card item items. As you can see here, we show an image and the name, and we will pass the product to card add remove for increasing or decreasing the quantity. And then we get the uh, subtotal and total here. So let's go to the page here. Now everything looks fine. Here is uh, the function for removing the item directly. Um, as you can see, uh, to add is false. So that's all. Thank you for your watching. I hope that was useful for you. So please like and subscribe. Bye bye.